ago, weeks ago, my mother impressed a song up on me, and I never had tried to sing that song. Amen. But when she sung that song, I had to get a little bit of that on the end. Amen. And that song has been ringing down in my heart. Amen. Y'all know I'm not a singer. And I don't profess to be a singer. But when she sung that song about I don't know what I would do without the Lord. Anybody else have that testimony? When you look around and see what the Lord has done for you, can you truly say, I don't know what I would do without the Lord?
First Samuel, the ninth chapter. And we'll begin reading at the 15th down through the 24th verses. Amen. There's a word from the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. If you have that, please signify by saying amen. 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 First Samuel, the ninth chapter. Amen. And as we begin reading, amen, at the 15th verse, it says, Now the Lord had told Samuel, In his ear a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin. Thou shalt anoint him to be the captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people because of their cry is come unto me. When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold, the man whom I spake to thee of, this is the same shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for ye shall eat with me today and tomorrow. I will let thee go and will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And as thy asses that were lost three days ago, Set thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee, on all thy father's house? And Saul answered and said, Am not I Benjamin of the smallest of the tribes of Israel? And my family, the least of all families, and the tribe of Benjamin, wherefore then speak thou so to me? And Samuel took Saul, his servant, brought them into the parlor, and made them to sit at the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Samuel said unto the cook, Bring the portion which I have gave thee, of which I have said unto thee, Set it by thee. And that last and final verse reads, And the cook took the shoulder, and that which was upon it, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Behold which is left. Set it before thee and eat, for unto this time had it been kept for thee since I said. I have invited the people, so Saul did eat with Samuel that day. And God's word is blessed. God bless you on today. <coughs> I don't consider myself to be a prophet. I am a pastor. Did y'all hear what I said? I don't consider myself to be a prophet, but I am a pastor. But when God gives me a prophetic word to give unto his people, I must speak that word to his people so that you will know that you are in the right place to hear from the Lord. 
there's been many things that have been going on in our ministry. Amen. Those of you that know how the spirit has been flowing. <laughs> Everything that we put our hands to do. The hand of the Lord is upon us. Everything that we put our hands to do. God just magnifies and let us know that he's with us. Whether it be a service or whether we be at a picnic or whether we be in a prayer meeting on a Friday or on a Sunday night, God is letting us know that he's with us. We've heard the word preached and taught, amen, from this pulpit and from the floor about how God is moving. Can I put something on it today? Thank you, Mother, for encouraging this word on today. Thank you, Sister Beasley, for, amen, letting me know that God is moving even as a newcomer to the ministry. See the hand of God moving upon the people of God. Amen. Tell somebody it's just God. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. What the preacher want to talk about today. He just want to tell you to get ready. To receive. What God has. For you. Come on look at somebody and tell them. Get ready. To receive. What God has for you. I wish you could put a praise on that right there. I am sitting on my seat of great expectations because I know where I am now is not where I'm going to always be. I am sitting on my seat of great expectation because Dr. Quick, I see us in the future. And we look much better than we do right now. I'm sitting on my seat of great expectation because I may be sick in my body. Said that eyes have not seen, 
and ears have not heard, neither have it entered into the heart of men what God is getting ready to do. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep your eyes on me because you haven't seen nothing yet. Today, today, this is what God is saying, by the way. Today is I'm getting ready to release some things. I'm getting ready to sit you in heavenly places. I'm getting ready to move some people out of the way. I'm getting ready to push you to the front of the line. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you. Because now you shall be the head and not the tail. Oh God, bless your name, Jesus. No need to apologize. Because of it was God that changed your position in life. For he knows when the time was right to take me from the back of the line to the front of the line. You see, you see, one thing about it, you know when God, it's time to shift. There it is, Sister Beasley, your position. You shift your attitude. Yeah, yeah, I used to think I had to sit in the back of the chair because I haven't arrived yet. Yeah, 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 but I come to tell you that my arrival has nothing to do with your measurements. Mm -hmm. I have arrived because God said it's my season. God said it's my time. For it was him that has set the occasion. Yeah, yeah, so since I know God, I know that it was God, I won't be arrogant. I won't be Amen. I won't be nonchalant. I'll just be grateful. For there is some things that I used to take. I just can't take it anymore. Because of the anointing that is upon my life. Because of the anointing that is upon this ministry. Because of the anointing that's flowing through this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some things I used to back up on. I'm not going to do that anymore. Because the power has been released. Good God Almighty. There were some things I used to let slide. I'm not going to do that anymore. Because the anointing that was up on me now. For I have just, there it is again, Sister Beasley. I shifted into a night, new life. I've shifted unto a new area. I've shifted to a new anointing. I wish you look at somebody and say, let's just shift. Come on, look at somebody, it's time to shift. Good God about it, come on, give God some praise. When you leave here today, I want you to know that you have kingdom authority. Operating in kingdom principles. You need to leave here saying, before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. You need to leave here saying, I'm not going to take it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get home in your bed, say, devil, I'm not going to cry anymore because I'm stronger now than I've ever been. I got more power now than I've ever had. Good God Almighty, I made my mind up. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry over you. I'm not going to cry because the Bible says they that sow in tears shall reap their joy. And my joy, somebody say joy. Somebody say joy in the morning. Oh, good God am I. Because if Satan was going to stop me, he should have done it last year. If Satan was going to stop me, he should have did it early. Because now I see what God is getting ready to do. I see what God is getting ready to release. Good God am I. And I've come too far to turn around. until the fourth quarter of the year. Now, if I was playing sports, I'm in the fourth quarter 
of the basketball game and as being a point guard, I know now it's showtime. When I was in that position, give me the ball. Now it's time to bring it on home. If I was playing football, we're in the second half of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the ball. I'm the running back. Here I am. I'm the quarterback. Looking for who do I need to get the ball to. Because we're getting ready. We should tell somebody, I'm getting ready to bring it on home. If I was running track, I'm the last sprinter in the baton race. I'm waiting on the third man to hand me the baton. Because yeah, Saints are gathered together. And on the sideline, we got some cheerleaders. We got a greater cloud of witnesses. They're cheering for me. I'm cheering for you. They're telling us we can make it. Keep on keeping on. Don't stop. Stay in the fight. Stay in the race. Stay in the game. Because it's your time. It's your season. They go find somebody and tell them to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It's time to bring it on home. It's time to go on home. I want everything that God has for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want my another level of anointing. I want to go to another level of praise. I want to go to another level. church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. 
midweek service, Thursday, Saturday.